こんにちは。あさみ here。Today we're gonna make a Japanese strawberry shortcake with a little bit of a twist, which is called parfait style. The composition of the dessert is the same as the original Japanese shortcake, but instead of frosting it with cream, we're gonna arrange the cake in small glasses. It's easier to make and easier to bring somewhere, so it makes a perfect gift. On top of that, it's just so pretty. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna make a Japanese sponge cake. Preheat the oven to 190 Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit. And then line the baking tray with paper. Add 90 grams of sugar to 3 eggs and whisk to combine. Then place the bowl over the hot water in a pot, warming the egg mixture until it gets tepid. The egg whips up well when it's warm, but don't make it hot, just body temperature. Of course, you don't want to heat them up until they become scrambled eggs. Once the egg becomes tepid, transfer into a mixing bowl. Then whip with a whisk attachment at the highest speed for about 3 to 5 minutes or until it gets airy and fluffy. The time it takes to whip the mixture depends on the power of the mixer, so it is more important to know how well it is whipped than how long it takes. Let me show you. The egg mixture is very thick and fluffy now, and when drawing a line in the batter, the line doesn't disappear. This is what we want. A hand mixer will work perfectly as well, but make sure to whip the mixture to this state. Then turn to the lower setting and whisk for another 2 minutes. This is for making your egg mixture more smooth. Add 80 grams of sifted cake flour in 2 to 3 pots and mix gently from bottom to top. Be careful not to over mix as your sponge cake will be denser. I've got 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter, 1 tablespoon of milk, and a half teaspoon of honey together in this bowl. Then just microwave to melt. Add some cake batter into this, stir to combine. Then pour back into the cake batter. Once you add the butter mixture, you need to quickly mix because butter has a tendency to break up the air bubbles in the eggs. Pour the cake batter into the baking tray and spread evenly. Immediately put it into the preheated oven and bake for about 12 minutes or until it gets slightly golden. Transfer onto a rack to prevent it from overcooking due to the remaining heat of the baking tray. Let it cool at room temperature. Meanwhile, we're gonna prepare the fillings. How to cut the strawberries is actually totally up to you. I actually make my shortcake differently every time. Today, I'd like to slice some strawberries and place them on the inside of the glass as decoration. The strawberries for fillings can be cut into cubes and put in, but my strawberries today are a bit sour, so I'm gonna add sugar and cook them a bit. Place a cup of roughly cut strawberries, 2 to 3 tablespoons of sugar, and 1 tablespoon of lemon juice in a small saucepan on medium heat. Stir occasionally and cook for a few minutes or until the sugar is dissolved and the berries are not too watery. 
then let it cool. For the cream, whip 1 cup of whipping cream along with 1.5 tablespoons of castor sugar until medium peaks form like this. Then keep in the fridge until you are ready to use it. Now we're gonna assemble the glasses. Stick the sliced strawberries on the inside of the glass. If the strawberries are too thick, they will easily fall off, so slice them thinly. Then we're gonna put the whipped cream in it. First, spread on the sides of the glass to fill in the gaps of strawberries. I'm piping it now, but you can scoop it in with a spoon. Then spread a thin layer of the cream on the bottom too. The amount of cream is totally up to you. Cut the sponge cake to fit your glass and place it at the bottom of the cream. I removed the golden baked part this time, but you can leave as it is. Continue to layer the cake cream and cooked strawberries. You don't have to worry too much about the layers being perfect since they aren't visible from through the glass. There were still some fresh strawberries left so I cut them into small pieces and put them in too. You don't need to fill the glass to the top. When I made this with a larger glass, I made it like this. Feel free to decide how to create a finished top. It could simply be cream or you can arrange some fruit like I did with the larger glass. Let it rest in the fridge for about 1 hour to set and your desserts are ready to dig in. The sweetness and tartness of the strawberries, the milky rich whipped cream, and the soft and light sponge cake, they are a perfect combination and melt in your mouth beautifully. Today I made it with strawberries, but of course you can make it with your favorite fruit. What would you like to make it with? Please share with me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, it means a lot when you take a second to give it a thumbs up. This written recipe is on my blog as always. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Arigato and sayonara. Bye!